and Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. So Jen, where are we this time? Oh wait, let me guess, we're eating again. That's all you do on vacation. You eat and Get you fat. do a lot of walking. Well, we have done a lot of walking, but that part has been, we've been getting that done, but yeah, just eating and drinking way too much. I have this gla glassy look in my eye because I'm eating and drinking way too much. But it's all been good. I mean, overall, our meals have been really good for the most part. I don't think they we've have. had anything bad. Mm -mm. So what are we doing today? Today we are at Olivia's to have lunch at the old Key West Resort. So this has been one of our favorite places over the years. Um, definitely have enjoyed coming here. Last time in September was, you know, so we thought it kind of went down a little bit. So we're trying to give it another chance. We're hoping it's going to redeem itself. Yeah, yeah. So it's a gorgeous, beautiful day today. Oh, we're sitting it's outside. Beautiful. Just, yeah. So we're really looking forward to um, having a couple of drinks, having a nice meal, yes. and uh, enjoying our morning. And we already ordered drinks, speaking of drinks. So they should be out momentarily. And we will share those with you. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for a special report from the Disney drinkers. Bum, bum, bum. It's about time. These drinkers have not made official appearances much this week. No, there have been a lot of Disney drinkers. They've just showed to not come out right. in public so often. Yes, exactly. Trust me, but the Disney drinkers been have been here a lot. Every day, uh, multiple times a day. So, uh, so Jen, what are you drinking this time? <laughs> I started with the Loaded Bloody Mary and um, it's got celery in it and lime and green olives and shrimp and it is delicious. It's chilled and it's spicy and it's perfection in a glass. Where is it? There we are. Okay, so I wanted to do just a coffee drink but I ended up getting a Jamaican coffee which is Tia Maria coffee liqueur and plantation original dark rum. Um, I thought it was going, like if I got an Irish coffee it would have been warm but this is iced um, they were out of the Tia Maria coffee liqueur, so they did a, like a chocolate liqueur. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the chocolate liqueur and the dark rum. So it basically is like a mocha. So Coffee, chocolate liqueur, and rum. Is it good? Yeah, it's actually quite tasty. And how's your Bloody Mary? You really got some good. skimp in there too. I know, I just ate one. Shrimp and olives and the lime and the celery. It's actually pretty good. It's like a meal in a glass. I know, if I like Bloody Marys, I'd probably enjoy that. But I don't like Bloody Marys, which means I would not enjoy that. I'm on a Bloody Mary kick this week, if you haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, you have had quite a few of them. I have. But that's okay, if you like it. I do. And you can get some nourishment. You got some protein with the shrimp. That's and true. And the olives will give you, I'm guessing, what vitamins do olives give you? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. Probably something to look up. You got lots of vitamin C with the lime, if you eat the lime. And celery. Probably not. Celery is a vegetable. I mean, vegetables are good for you. Olive's a fruit, technically, because it grows on trees. So, oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. So I'm guessing, if nothing else, it'll make you happy because you love olives. I don't know. Mm. So, um, I do. I love green olives. So, so far, the drink is good. Mm -hmm. The service, she's been quite pleasant so mm -hmm. far. No complaints there. We have water. We're sitting outside. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I don't know. I mean, so far, I it's know. been pretty good, right? It's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. <laughs> Meal is coming next. Oh. So we just got our appetizer and we ordered the conch fritters. Conch or conch? I Which think it's conch. It's both. Is yeah, it? It's both. It could be conch or conch. Oh, and look, it comes with two different sauces. Hmm. One looks like a mustard and one looks like a uh, tartar sauce, I guess. Maybe a rumelade? Is that how you say it, rumelade? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, they look really, really good and they smell really, really good. Yeah, they do. So, all right, you're gonna dig in? I am. Dig in. All right, let me get my napkin for? on my lap. There you go, dear. It's just such a perfect day. I love sitting outside to eat. There you go. Ooh, they're soft. What's the inside look like? Looks gooey. Delicious. Look at that. That does look really oh, good. Oh, that does look good. So I'm gonna try the orange sauce. I'm just gonna dip because it's just me and you and who cares. 
That's right. Mm. Good? Hot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there goes the grunting again. That's delicious. You good? You like mm -hmm. it? Here. Okay, Joe. My turn to grunt. They're really delicious. This was a good choice. So, I'll do... Oh well, yeah, you can see it's steaming. All right, so I'll try this, what looks to be like a mustard sauce. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Yeah, actually it's really good. And then I'll try this one, which is the roumelade. Which one do you like better? I think I like the spicy mustard better. Really? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna taste that one next. All right. All right, so you try the spicy mustard. Mmm. Mm. It has just a little extra zinc to it, right? Mm-hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Joe, so lunch has arrived. What'd we get? What'd we get? We're splitting just the club sandwich with some chips. And it's a good thing that we're splitting it, because if you look at the size of this club sandwich, that's like ginormous. And we have a long day today. We do. With, I'm sure, more eating and drinking, so. Well, we're staying um, at a new resort tonight. I've mm -hmm. stayed there, but Joe has not. And we're within walking distance to a certain mm, Disney Springs. So we already have plans to walk around and eat all day. Yeah, so looking forward to it. But yes. This actually looks good. You've had, have you had this here before? I have not. Oh, you have not had the club here. I've had the conch fritters. We've actually both had them a couple years ago, um, but we have not had the club sandwich. So let's try it and see how it is. I know, I'm excited. So Jen, what do you think of lunch? It was really good. Service has been great. Yeah. The food has been great. Olivia's, Olivia's has definitely redeemed itself. Although, although there has to always be something, right? So we decided we were gonna split the club sandwich, which was a good idea because it was a better amount of food versus just stuff in your face. Um, chips were good, the conch fritters were really good, but alas, there was one thing missing. Oh. Olivia's, every time we come, and generally we come for breakfast majority of the time, the grits. The grits here are so freaking good. And They're one of Joe's favorite things to eat in all of Disney. And in the past, the grits have always been on the menu. They are, all day, every day, you can get grits because they always got them. I remember distinctly, one of the waiters at one point said they have them cooking all day, every day. So they're back there. So even if it's not on the menu, ask because they have them. Not today. Yeah. Kind of bummed. She did say that they're only doing it for breakfast right now, but in a couple of weeks, they will um, have grits all day again. So they're actually... In, did she say that they're actually increasing the menu I as well so. as? I think so. So it, at least, you so know. that's good news. It is good news. This past week we've seen um, higher crowds, more people back. Mm -hmm. So perhaps maybe they're starting to. And spring break is coming up and then you'll have the whole summer season. So yeah. it makes sense. We'll see about spring break though. I think this year is going to be different compared to previous years. Um, last year there was still a bit of spring break, I think. Oh, I think there was. Yeah, yeah. I, not in Disney because Disney was shut down by then. But No, but all the beaches were open. Yeah, yeah. So this year might be a little different. Um, but I think Disney might be expecting the crowds to continue to stay higher. Um, so perhaps maybe we've gotten through some of this and they're expecting higher crowds. So that's could, that could be why they're increasing some of the food menus and bringing the grits back all day, every day. Um, so yeah, if we would have been here an hour earlier, I could have had grits. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, we'll just have to come back. Definitely. Yeah. So I think this was definitely a plus. We, we it was really enjoyed really it. It was really good. It was nice sitting outside. It was really kind of quiet, very relaxing. Um, had a really nice meal. Drinks were good. You enjoyed your Bloody Mary? I did. And I the did. Bloody Mary looked really good. So there was um, uh, a group that walked by and, and one of the women asked you about the Bloody Mary because it was sitting on the table. Actually and, two. Yeah. Well, they were, I think they were together. They, yeah, but they both asked. But they both said, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it just, it was just really nice between, you know, the shrimp and the olives and the celery. It just looked like a really good drink. And, and it was. And it was good. Yeah. If you like Bloody Marys, I guess. I don't know. But, so anyway, um, I'm really happy that Olivia's redeemed 
themselves because Herself. last September we weren't um, exactly sure if we would come back. Yeah. So I'm really glad that Thank we gave you. it another shot because it was really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Service, food, everything, excellent. And then it's just, I think, to the atmosphere. So you're sitting here by the water. Let me just show you really quick. Here's our table. Here's Jen. Say hi, Jen. And here is our view. So how can you beat that? I mean, it's just, it's really quite lovely here. And I just an FYI too, this is one of the original restaurants before all this COVID stuff went down that you could eat outside. There are not a lot of table service restaurants on property where you can eat outside, at yeah. least up until COVID. Now I know a lot of places have extended their space to provide that service, right. yeah, yeah. but Olivia's has always had outdoor dining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the patio and itself. And it's lovely. Well, it is, it is. I didn't even show the patio, so let's show that really quick. Again, here's our table. There's the door. And just a little, little courtyard here with the uh, tables. You do have the walkway here coming from the uh, drop-off area, the main entrance. And so it does come back this way. But this little outdoor dining area it's quite lovely. So you can see the courtyard is really quite lovely, quite nice. Um, they do have heaters in case it does get cold. You can you probably saw that when I was panning around. <laughs> we just did this whole thing and the microphone was turned in the wrong direction. So now we have to do it again. <laughs> we, do, we do it all. <laughs> oh my God, I've only had one drink. Um, so anyway, okay, so Jen, you like it here? It was good? I do. So it's a definite thumbs up. Wow, that's original. <laughs> So again, Olivia's, um, it's worth coming out of your way to get here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, very happy we gave it another shot. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Just smash it. No. Because you don't want to miss so any of the angry. next. What's wrong with you? Jen and Joe on the go action. And no, I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just like, smash that. You want to be subscribed. You want to see what's coming next. If you're not angry, you're at least violent. You gotta even say, you gotta admit that. You're at least a little violent. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just tap it. It's okay. Just tap that little notification. Smash it. All right. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>